Hey guys, welcome back. So Jojo Day once again, about to dive into episode 14 of Stardust Crusaders Battle in Egypt. This one is entitled The Guardian of Hell Pet Shop Part 1. Coming in as a complete blind watch, I probably would believe this is going to be about Iggy in some way. I mean, that's there in the title, right? Pet Shop. So Iggy's the only pet that we have in the show at the moment. So let's dive in and take a look at what this amazing new episode has to offer us. Don't forget, this is a Tomo based reaction. You can catch the full thing over my Patreon. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Previously, so they're trying to find the building where Dio lives. Darby's episode. Then they're running into Whole Horse. Holly's only got a few days left. So they've got to head south in Cairo to where the older buildings are. Super hot. Who's that? Take a seat, dude. Blind man. Supposedly. Speaking of blind men, where's Kakowin? He's follow why is he following him? <laughs> Weird. Okay. Take some money. <laughs> this is my corner. <laughs> Everyone's telling him not to sit there. <laughs> yeah, hand the money over, man. It's only polite. He's a beggar who can't speak in public. <laughs> oh. Yeah, where's this house? It's not a house though, is it? It's more like a evil lair. What? What the? <laughs> He's uh, quite well to do. Did a double take. Now, this is going to be about Iggy, right? This episode. That was weird. <laughs> hey, Jonathan. Hey, Dio. Joseph. Oh, Joseph. Jotaro. I love all the JoJo's. I honestly can't pick one. If I had to. Well, old man Joseph, he's cool. He's such a different character to what he was in Battle Tendency, though. Like, in that part, he was very young and brash. And very, very much a smart-ass kind of a character. And your next line will be, and he was quite, quite fun. And now as an older man, he's quite 
stoic, still kind of brash, but completely different as an older man. Which happens, like I'm not the same person I was when I was younger. I'm not old though, so shut up. It's up for the debate. <laughs> but I haven't really gravitated towards Jotaro very much. He's definitely a backseat Jojo, don't you think? Would you say? There's, he's got an amazing supporting cast and they all shine beautifully through the whole season whereas Jotaro being so quiet and stoic doesn't really say much but he's still probably the most powerful one in the group and he's very observant Guardian of Hell so we've got our Iggy centric episode he's found the place I doubt Dio is here though Dio is more likely in a castle of some sort Oh shit. That's a creepy tongue action that JoJo's known for. Is he calling on his stand? No, he just. Shit, he just stared him down. Iggy's the boss. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. This show, this show, lay up. Yep. I was going to say, this show likes to kill doggers. Ah. Oh my god. I should have been more prepared. <laughs> now he's sweating. It's a falcon. Is that the guy from earlier? Is it a robot falcon? Well done, man. Oh. Fuck. That bird's working for Dio. We're getting an Iggy voiceover. Iggy's got a voiceover. <laughs> so that bird is a stand user and he makes big ice shards. Horus. The Eye of Horus. His name's Pet Shop. That guy Dio lives. Dude, he got munched. Godbird, the guardian of hell. <laughs> He's a, he wants to be out of here. <laughs> he was. Just wanna shit and eat. A hot bitch. Carefree life. (laughs) 
Done that. He's <laughs> got to lick himself, right? <laughs> I've worked hard to look like an idiot. With a helmet? Oh no. Nice. Flew under the car. Didn't you notice his little helmet? What a crazy bastard. So, uh, a, a guard bird. Chibi. Oh, the two doggies. Oh, no. Yeah, they're dead. Chibi and Bucci. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Blood everywhere. Because he just got decapitated. Of course. Come on, Iggy. Oh, don't go under the gate. Oh, shit. Do I care? Does he care? Oh, he's just running away. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Is he coming for, coming for the kid now? Oh, he's got ice spikes! Nice. <laughs> Iggy to the rescue. A oh, badass. Iggy stepping up. Mm, who is the stand master? It would have to be Tia, right? Get out of here, kid. Ruff, ruff. This is sick. <laughs> is he like a robot? He's like like the Terminator or something. Wow, fast. Except for Iggy.
Man. Killing machines. He's just smiling. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> A smiling bird. What is this? Ah, oh, ice attack. Oh no. Oh, he's stuck. Oh shit. Oh, he turned into an igloo. Nice. What a good stand. This is actually better than I thought it was going to be. I was thinking an Iggy centric episode. That would have to be weird. But. You always got to have faith in Jojo. Oh, he's, um, he's dead. He's really, really dead. Oh, he's got so paws. It's magic ice. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Run, Iggy, run. Look at, like... Ice torpedoes. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, cool. We don't see Iggy's stand very often. Definitely impressive. Straight down the manhole. Well, the dog hole, whatever you want to call it. Shit. <laughs> Followed him down the hole. What? What? <laughs> oh, got him. I thought Iggy was dead. Got the Falcon. Sliced.
You lost an eye? No. <laughs> Bruce Lee. Uh oh, this bird does hold a grudge. What the fuck? She. Oh. Oh, now he's trapped. Shit. Porygi is in, is in trouble. Oh, no. Run, Iggy, run. Uh-oh. Trapped. Oh. Oh, run, be a good boy. Talk about excessive. Welcome to Jojo. Yeah, yuck. Oh, this is going to end. To be continued coming up. Shit. Is he going to pull off a JoJo level escape act? I oh, know it to be continued. Damn you. You've got to wait a few minutes. Here we go. I haven't got to hear this song today. I've done a few reactions in the last couple with the Oingo Boingo brothers. So let's go to the last train home. So, that was fun. <laughs> that Falcon was crazy. Um, My copy of the show got a little bit blurry there. You might have noticed. It is what it is, guys. When I ripped the, the video from the stream, it looked like I must have uh, slowed down a little bit. But I could still see what, what was happening. Iggy, man, it was so good to have a voiceover from him. He really doesn't give a fuck. He does want to be. He was brought, against, he was brought here against his will by Jojo and the guys. He doesn't want any trouble. Except that he you know, can't abide a young boy getting killed who, who loves dogs. <laughs> oh, those poor doggies. <laughs> this makes me nervous for Iggy, though, because dogs do not make it out of this show alive. That's the rules. We know that, that, we know that happens, right? I oh, know it clears up. So if doggies don't make it out of JoJo alive... I'm now officially worried for Iggy. Now that we actually got to spend some time with him and had his cool little voiceover and everything. But, um, cool, sassy little character. That was really funny. I wasn't expecting him to talk in this one. And like I said, having an Iggy-centric episode, I wasn't holding out much hope for it to be good. I mean, most of the judges are good, but sometimes you get a few episodes that are a little bit filler. But, yeah, it was entertaining. It was, it was gory. I mean, those two dogs at the beginning, like, getting the big ice spike through their decapitated heads, and then the graphic shot of the falcon just ripping an eyeball out and munching it up. What the hell? So I just love that JoJo goes that way. Like, it's lighthearted, it's fun. It can get dark and scary sometimes, but also doesn't pull back on the gore when it finally presents itself. It's always been part and parcel of the show, and it's always been super fun. I love it. It's so, so good. So that was The Guardian of Hell Pet Shop Part 1, so I'm about to dive into Part 2 in a few minutes. And um, enjoy the hell out of it. I'm going to try and get a, a few JoJo's done today. See how I feel. Because I just feel like it's like a JoJo kind of a day, really. But it isn't every day. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.